Welcome back, cooks, to our healthiest turkey meatballs lesson. You can purchase your ground turkey unthawed or if frozen, you can actually use your microwave to do a quick defrost. Normally on most microwaves, as this is one pound of frozen ground turkey meat, you can use the microwave's keypad to do the quick defrost option. Let's go ahead and press the defrost button on this Whirlpool microwave. In most microwaves, you can just enter the number of pounds. In this case, we press one and then we hit start. It shows us this will take nine minutes while that's defrosting. Let's go ahead and start the oat mixture while we wait. Let's measure out a half cup of almond milk. We'll fill it to this line right here indicated for a half cup. We'll go ahead and pour this into our medium sized saucepan and we'll also add in a half cup of old fashioned oats. You are looking for a cooked oatmeal consistency. Here we have our defrosted ground turkey from earlier. Make sure if it's fully thawed so it's soft and pliable. Once you're done getting all that good meat out, you can recycle or discard this packaging. Let's grab our tablespoon and carefully pour in two tablespoons of our extra virgin olive oil. Next, we have our pre-made seasoning mix to make it easier. You can use a spare piece of paper towel to make sure you are not cross-contaminating items such as the olive oil that may go back in the cabinet. And now, the priceless egg. Be careful, don't drop it. Time to mix, but before we do that, let's oil our pan. We use canola oil as this was the last of it, but you can use any neutral oil to prevent burning. Also, rub a little bit on your spoon used to help form the meatballs. We'll set this aside and let's grab our mixture. Also, let's add in our cooled oats that we made from earlier. Time to be a meat mixologist. Let's get those hands messy. Be careful not to overmix the meat and make it tough. This consistency. Time to form some delicious meatballs with our oiled spoon. Grab just enough meat to form a golf sized meatball and depending on how big or small you make them, you can get 12 big or 24 medium sized meatballs. Space them out on your tray 
about one to two inches apart on the pan. I'll speed this up so you can see the finished product and get to cooking. Time to put these in our preheated oven at 450 degrees. Using a spatula, scoop and loosen each meatball if needed. We used an older raggedy pan wrapped in foil for the first half of cooking the raw meatballs. This, folks, makes for easier cleanup. We then transfer it to a newer, slightly greased nonstick pan for even cooking and a clean finish. After adjusting the meatballs as needed, place the pan back in the oven for another 15 minutes to finish.